We are in the space that was previously occupied by an intercontinental ballistic missile, designed to literally withstand a direct nuclear strike and still be able to launch the missile that was protected inside of it. If it is ever fired, it will obliterate its target. This facility is capable of being off-grid indefinitely, so it's a very expensive requirement to meet. The location was so secretive, we can only tell you that it's somewhere in central Kansas. This was the engineered to withstand a nuclear strike. You pretty much encompass anything from a pandemic to solar flares, to global climate change, to terrorism, to dirty bombs, to radiation, to you, know, you name it, earthquakes, severe weather. This facility is inclusive protection for all of those. We take security very seriously here. It's not only the nature of the facility because it's a survival condominium, but a lot of the um, clients, the people that buy in here are used to the, a high level of security. Our clients are former NFL players. We've had authors, we've had uh, a few movie stars. Larry tells us this silo can support 70 people, but survival's gonna cost you. For a full floor, it's $3 million. Half floor, $1.5 million. Oh, yeah, imagine the guy at J.P. Morgan Chase writing this mortgage, uh, nuclear hardened condominiums. Uh, is that a jumbo mortgage, sir? <laughs> Not gonna happen. We actually have our own jail cell, which is nearing completion right here. You know, let's face it, it's possible for someone to have a bad day. We can, you know, bring them in here and let them cool down. This is the pharmacy window. When it's operational, it's a uh, licensed uh, Kansas pharmacy. So we will have at least seven years worth of medication for anyone that's an owner in here that has prescriptions. Let's talk about toilet paper. If you had to have toilet paper, for 70 people for let's say seven years, it would take more than an entire floor just to store the toilet paper. Can't do that, that's some pretty expensive toilet paper. We have these uh, toilets that are a combination regular toilet, but they have a bidet seat and they have you know computer programmable wash cycles and you can set everything from the temperature to the, uh, you know, how hard the spray is and the spray pattern, and you can personalize your uh, bathroom experience. People say these are far-fetched and they're hypotheticals that won't happen. I, you know, read the headlines. I think it's um, the value that you put on the safety aspect and the what-if scenario it is an incredibly tangible peace of mind to add to the dollar value of the investment. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.